all this shit. Hold on. African pandem pandemonium. That it it didn't it didn't stop. Uh, What's about to happen? Bombs about to start dropping. Uh -huh. And you already see bombs dropping, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? They said that he's going to set forth his apostles' life. Mm -hmm. You saved the best for last. That's Your right. Lord said this true for last. Mm -hmm. you, know? you notice that there was, no, there was no scoffers coming up until these elders were set up, man. That's right. Because mm -hmm. it tells you, Peter, in the last days, you should, then uh, scoffers shall come and walk and after his own lust. Mm -hmm. But in Corinthians, it tells you that. The Lord, the Lord shall set the apostle last, man. Mm -hmm. It links up, man. So it shows you. And who are the most group right now that's getting ridiculed and, and um, slandering, that's being demonized, you know? GMS, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. So it shows you. You know, even this Lord tells us for, for his name's sake that we this these things shall happen unto us. Mm -hmm. That's uh -huh. right. I got a precept yeah, to what you were saying, bro. Uh, Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 16. But they mocked the messages of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people until there was no remedy. Mm -hmm. hey, you, you, it's plain and simple. You're going to yeah. mock, you're going to laugh, you're going to scorn, you're going to uh, ridicule. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, you ain't mocking, again, you ain't mocking us. us. We mm -hmm. are just vessels. You right. are mocking the most high. Right. Right. And once you do that, man, you just got to... Uh, uh, mock yourself. You yeah. mock yourself. You got a, 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 a date with death. That's a right. first class ticket with either one of those swords, the famine, the pestilence, mm -hmm. or, or the missiles, also. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. For mocking the Lord. Again, in Proverbs, I love Proverbs. Mm -hmm. In 1 and 20, or around mm -hmm. that time, it says, the Lord shall mock to laugh at your calamity. My fear coming. So right? mock when your fear coming. Yeah. It's an even balance. That's right, man. That's right. You think you're going to mock the Lord and get away with it, scotch free? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. You shall reap what you sow, you right? Reap what you sow. Yeah. You but it's good. Hey, man. If this is the time that we end, man. Yeah, if I may add, if you could observe, yeah. you see all of us go through our scriptures. This is through the Spirit, man. We mm -hmm. feed off another scripture. You ain't seen any other cans doing lessons like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. and you got to know that this is through the spirit of Yahweh, the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shah. That's right. Mm -hmm. It was a blessing to have uh, the elder to have put out a decree to do lessons. That's right. Because it sharp our sword. Mm -hmm. And we can continue to do the work and, and Lord willing, flood this internet. That's mm -hmm. right. You mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is how the elect were going to get sealed. More and more epistles, more and more lessons. Right. You know, give these devils no rest, they, man. If they ain't giving them, right. they ain't taking them. Right, just like the scripture said, give them no rest. You mean you're the miracles on the earth, man? We we complain to Yahweh Bashi and Yahshua all day long, man. Right. To what they have done to us, to yes. his people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that so that he can send his son Yahweh Shai and come back to get us, the remnant, the elect. Like that one for you right here, yeah. and we we'll go right with that. Mm -hmm. It's Revelation 14 and uh, 14. It says, and I looked and behold a white cloud. And upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. Okay. That's that's the vision of Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. The cloud is what the world ignorantly calls a UFO. That's right. it. Mm -hmm. But they identify because mm -hmm. the Lord revealeth his secrets mm -hmm. amongst the servants, the prophets. That's right. that's right. You see what I'm saying? Right. The spirit of the Lord, the, the spirit has revealed it unto me, Lord. Come, mm -hmm. Come. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. and like he said, so Peter, yeah. who who do they say that I am? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. You're the son of God. Yeah. Yeah. Flesh and blood, and that's yeah. it. Come. You know, verse, verse 15, mm -hmm. and another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in the sickle and reap, mm -hmm. for the time has come for thee to reap. For the harvest of the earth is right. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we can see that because what we did was uh, seek out the time, mm -hmm. you know, diligently. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now we know what time it is. Not because of the clock on the wall, but because of the scriptures and the yeah. prophecies. Yeah. That's measure the time yeah. diligently. That's mm -hmm. it. Measure the time diligently. That's right. You know? And it says, uh, verse 16, And he that sat on the cloud... Mm -hmm. Thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. Mm -hmm. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven. He also having a sharp sickle. There's a lot of sickles going on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> and Achilles. There's and a Achilles. lot of sickles. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's what I tell you about this. Huh? And these, this, this is the, this is the plagues. 
Mm-hmm. This is all the the uh, sorrows. Give it, give it this. Um, uh, second Yeah, give it, give it a second editor. But, but he says it too. He says, "I didn't come to yeah. bring peace." <laughs> That's what I was gonna get yeah. 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 into that, bro. Uh, get uh, the synopsis all up, man. Yeah. 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 You know. Mm-hmm. But it says, uh, seventeen. Another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven. He also having a sharp sickle. Mm-hmm. Verse 18, and another angel came out from the altar which had power over fire and crowd with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, mm-hmm. Thrust in the sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth. Mm-hmm. And what was that? That's to get the elect off the planet earth, man. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay? For her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine off of the earth. And cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. Okay? And the winepress was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the winepress, even onto the horses' bottoms by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. Okay? So he picked he picked one one group of grapes. Let me let me go back up and read it again. Verse 18, to get it right. Another angel came out from the altar which had power over fire and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in the sharp sickle and gather the cluster of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Meaning the judgment. Because, like, if you look at the uh, current population of the earth, it's about 7.8 billion people. Yep. Seven with the completion. Meaning that all the souls, they, come, they came back from judgment, for judgment. That's right. You know? Mm-hmm. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. Mm-hmm. And the winepress was trodden without the city. And blood came out of the winepress, even onto the horse's bottle, by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. Come, meaning the Lord will let kill him when he comes back. Yeah. yeah, when he comes back, let kill him. You know, like okay. the oh, the scripture says that the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yeah, yeah, many. That's that's six. Yeah, yeah. That's going, true. going back to uh, Isaiah sixty-three. That's the same. Uh, 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 you know, trying to wine press. Okay, yeah. uh-huh. Isaiah 63 verse 1 mm-hmm. says, Who is this that cometh from Edom mm-hmm. with, the, with thy garment uh, oh, from wow. Basra, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness uh, of his strength, mm-hmm. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save? So a question, who is this coming from Edom? <laughs> you know, come. With thy garments from, from Basra. Mm-hmm. Basra is a city that the, uh, the Edomites you dwell, yeah. and then they see who is this, that's Yahweh Shah. That's right. and they say in his glorious apparel, mm-hmm. you know, in his strength, in the greatness of his strength, he's mm-hmm. coming in them chariots. That's that's right. Right. Again, which the world ignorantly calls you a fool. Mm-hmm. He's going to come, that's right. and it's going to explain how he looks, mm-hmm. and what he's he coming to do. Mm-hmm. It's going to come with the holy angel, with your mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. It says, uh, well fought art thou red in thy apparel, in thy garment, like him, that treaded in the wine fast. That's a question, my ass. Why is this garment all red? You know? Right. Right. Continue on, bro. What's this, Lord? Hey, what's this, Lord? Why is it all red? Right. 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 Verse 3, it reads, I have chosen the white press alone, and of the people that was not with me. For I will trust them in my anger, and trample them in my fury. And the blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment, and I will stain and I will sting on my raiment. The Lord is going to kill a lot, doing a lot of killing. Yeah. You, you, you hear brothers saying that the sickle, the sharp sickle, the Lord's mm-hmm. coming with a sword, as it was written in Matthew 10 and 34. Mm-hmm. He's not right. coming right. with a sword, he's not coming with peace. Mm-hmm. You know, so and uh, all that blood is going to be from these Edomites, mm-hmm. you heathen nation, the mm-hmm. majority of you Edomites, you so-called white men, mm-hmm. you heathen nation, even two-thirds of our people. That's yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Come. That's right. Come. Verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of, of my Redeemer is come. Yes, the Lord's coming with vengeance. That's you know, it's in his heart, his lahab, right. his heart, as it's in his mind. Right, right. right. You know, this is not what these other, these other, uh, these, these um, other Israelite groups is really That's emphasizing. Right. Right. And you know these damn pastors ain't talking about that. They tell, tell you the day of the Lord is great, kumbaya, flowers, right. singing, what it is. Yeah. We heard it. We heard it come from IUC's master. Yeah. 
until he says party right? time until the cherry is coming. Yeah, there's no that party. It's a serious time. It's a serious time. Right, right. You know? Come. Come. And that goes back to Isaiah 60. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. What, what you just said at the end, then it goes right back there. Uh-huh. To declare the, the vengeance of the Lord. Mm-hmm. That's right, bro. The coming of the Lord. That's uh-huh. what it says. Hey, man, we emphasize that here at Great Millstone, too. Right. You know? Right. That's part of prophecy. Yeah, the day uh-huh. of darkness is on its way, man. That's right, brother. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, got, you got that, bro? Yeah, yeah Amos. I, I see you. Uh huh. It says, um, this is Amos 5, verse 18. And it says, um, Woe unto you that desire for the day of the Lord. Death, death and destruction to you that desire the day of the Lord. Right. So you poor child pastors, you congregations that follow after with Christianity, even you, even you false Hebrew Israelite groups, man. Mm-hmm. You want to build this nation here and, and, and come together and, you know, live peacefully and, and, and you know, have a, right. a joyful, mirthful spirit. Right. You know, this is not what the Lord is about. Uh-huh. Continue on, brother. Uh-huh. It says, to what end is it for you? Huh. You know what I'm saying? And the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. The day right. of the Lord is darkness and not light. I, mean, mm-hmm. I don't really have to break that down. That's just simple. Simple, man. man. You know? yeah. oh, and it's man. darkness because you're going to see a lot of those father chips, those UFOs, so called UFOs coming. Mm-hmm. You know? It's going to mm-hmm. block the sun. That's right, man. You know? It's going to block the light. Right. Right. The missile, the smoke, yeah. Yeah. everything, man. Everything. Time. 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 I went for a scene. The, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near, and he said greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Mm-hmm. So that, that day is going to be no fun. It's all perilous time. All hell is breaking loose, man. Huh. You you going from one place to another, seeing dead bodies, seeing fire, seeing uh, riots, just seeing you know, a whole bunch of chaos, death and destruction. Right. That's why, right, man. Yeah. Men gonna be scared, man. Mm-hmm. Strong men, you know? Huh. So it shows you that day, it, it says it's gonna be like a trouble like that that was never before, Since man. Since there was a nation. Since there was a nation, man. Before, so any yeah. trouble that you heard of from that time on, it's gonna be worse, you know? It's gonna make the transatlantic slave trade look walk like a in walk park. in the park. That's yeah. right, man. 11 like a, a icing, a right. little, a cherry on top of the cake or something. That's right, brother. You know, a little soft yogurt. That's right. That day is a day of, of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wistfulness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of cloud and thick darkness, you know, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced city and against the high tower. So meaning like you know, the destruction, man. you know the the ICBMs, man. You know the clouds, you know yeah. the yeah. mushroom clouds. You yeah. know yeah. when when this when this uh these missiles, you know, uh drop on the soil of this country, America or Babylon, man, it's gonna make uh it's gonna make a loud noise, mm-hmm. especially when when they when they coming. They because the scripture says it's gonna take twenty minutes for them to to uh, from from a far country, you know, mm-hmm. uh, means the uh, Russian to, mm-hmm. to to come yeah. here, man. Right. And says so it should make the earth rock to and fro like a that's drunkard. Like a that's drunkard. right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's and, right. Man. It's yeah. all prophecy. It's all yeah. prophecy. See, we, we started this about how important it is to prophesy and the Lord's dealing with the men. And now we prophesy. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this yeah. death of destruction is coming here. That's right. You know? And the Lord is going to, you're going to see an angry, austere black man with a sharp sickle or sword doing a whole bunch of killing as well. That's right. Yeah. You know? You're going to see chariots. That's right. You know? Uh, I got Isaiah 66, verse 15. Mm-hmm. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind oh. to wen- render his anger with fury mm-hmm. and his rebuke with flames of fire. Oh. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, mm-hmm. and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Hey. Hey. The slain of the Lord shall be many. So we see why the Lord's garment is dyed up, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's right, man. And he's a man. It's going to be a lot of great, it's going to be a lot of death, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we warn, we warn him. Right. Hey, man, see, hey, we said seek the Lord while he may be found. Do you yeah. want to get caught up in, uh, you want you want your remains on his uh, garments? Right. Or do you want to seek salvation? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you got anything else, brother. Come on. 
So with that, I pray we pray that everything was edifying. Mm -hmm. We, we want to say uh, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Double honors again to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who right. taught us this truth and right. who, who, who rule well. Right. And the peace and salutations to the Bayaf Dawada, the house of David, the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.